That rare move by a Michigan prosecutor filing charges of involuntary manslaughter against the parents of the 15-year-old student accused in a deadly school shooting. The couple scheduled to appear at an arraignment late today. At this hour, their whereabouts still unknown. James and Jennifer Crumbly, last seen on a Zoom call at their son's arraignment, each charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one for each of the four students who died. Ethan Crumbly, now charged as an adult on multiple counts, including terrorism and murder. The prosecutor revealing chilling allegations, the now deleted Instagram post, Ethan posting this image of a weapon and the words, just got my new beauty today. The next day, his mother's post, Mom and Sunday, testing out his new Xmas present. The gun believed to be in his backpack during a meeting with his parents and school officials before being sent back to class the day of the attack. The prosecutor calling the parents' behavior unconscionable, but also criminal. ABC's Trevor All leads us off in Pontiac, Michigan. I'm angry as a mother. I'm angry as the prosecutor. Tonight, Oakland County, Michigan prosecutor Karen McDonald taking a rare, if not unprecedented step, charging the parents of the 15-year-old accused in the Oxford High School shooting rampage. You are the parents of Ethan uh, Crumley, is that correct? Yeah, correct. That is correct. The couple last seen at their son's arraignment Wednesday. They were due to turn themselves in today. Their attorney claiming they are not on the run, but their whereabouts still aren't clear. Their son, charged as an adult, pleaded not guilty to 24 counts, including first-degree murder and terrorism. There were a lot of things that could have been so simple to prevent. Today, the prosecutor leveling shocking accusations, alleging on Black Friday, James Crumbly brought his son with him to buy that Sig Sauer 9mm. Prosecutors referencing these now deleted Instagram posts, one Friday from the alleged shooter's account, captioned, just got my new beauty today, and this post Saturday on his mother's account, captioned, mom and son day, testing out his new Christmas present. Clearly, based on the, the statements of the shooter, the statements of mom, that was his gun. In class Monday, prosecutors say a teacher reported the suspect searching ammunition on his phone. The school reported they called the parents, but they didn't respond. Thereafter, Jennifer Crumbly exchanged text messages about the incident with her son on that day, stating, quote, LOL, I'm not mad at you. You have to learn not to get caught. Then the morning of the shooting, prosecutors say another teacher was alarmed by a picture drawn by the teen that included a gun, a bullet, and a person appearing shot, and the words, the thoughts won't stop, help me, blood everywhere, my life is useless, and the world is dead. James and Jennifer Crumbly were then called to the school, told they were required to get their son counseling within 48 hours, and the parents resisted taking him home. He was returned back to class with his backpack where we have reason to believe the gun, the gun was stored in the backpack. Later that day, as the shooting unfolded and word spread, Jennifer Crumbly texted her son, Ethan, don't do it. Some 15 minutes later, Jason Crumbly called 911 saying the gun was missing. He stored it unlocked in his bedroom drawer, and he thought his son may be the shooter. It's extremely rare for parents to be charged in school shootings. Are you trying to set a new standard, or is the evidence simply overwhelming in this case? The facts of this case are so egregious. The notion that a parent could read those words and also know that their son had access to a deadly weapon that they gave him is unconscionable, and, it, and I think it's criminal. This prosecution is very unusual, if not unprecedented, with this set of facts. It is not going to be an easy case for prosecutors to win. And tonight, Oxford parents now outraged at these new allegations. I don't see how you can't. I don't see how you can't charge a parent. Extraordinary developments today. Trevor Alt is back with us. And Trevor, we heard that allegation that the boy had the gun in his backpack during that meeting with teachers and his parents. And they never notified police about his concerning behavior. Are prosecutors looking at possible charges for school officials? Well, with the prosecutors been very tight lipped about any potential other charges that could be coming, she says the investigation is still ongoing. She did say today the suspect should not have been sent back to the classroom on the day of the shooting. But whether that warrants criminal charges is a very different question. With and we are thinking about the families impacted by this tragedy. Trevor, thank you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.